Hi, right, welcome to Three Things Thursday with Robert Hertel. So we had the Academy Awards this past weekend, the Oscars, big night in Hollywood, right? Everyone's all dressed up. And as a whole, I thought it was a great show. You know, I thought Jimmy Kimmel did a fantastic job, thought he was funny, thought the performances were good. I think the people that won and the shows that won were deserving. You know, there's always debate about, well, I like this performance over the other, or this movie over the other. But as a whole, I think the people that won were well-deserving. So I thought the show was good. The ending was shocking. <laughs> to say the least, I never thought I'd ever say anything like that at the Oscars, but you know, it's life. It happens, even at the Oscars, even on the biggest stage. So, feel bad for the people of La La Land to go up there, be all excited, and then just have their hearts ripped out saying, ah, actually, we need that Oscar back. Uh, sorry about that, but uh, I thought they handled it really well, and Moonlight was a great movie, well deserving, so happy for them. But just like everything else, there's always things that salespeople can take. From any big event that they can implement in their business to help them be more successful. We did this with the Super Bowl a few weeks ago, so we're going to do that with the Oscars today. So three things that I saw at the Oscars that salespeople can implement in their business to help them be more successful. So let's get into it. Number one is this, energy and enthusiasm at the beginning creates excitement and keeps people engaged throughout the process. One of the things I noticed after the Oscars this year is there was less criticism about this year's Oscars as a whole. Okay, I understand there was criticism, but as a whole, there was less this year than previous years. One of the reasons I feel that is because the show did not seem as long and seemed more upbeat and things like that than prior to years past. And one of the reasons I think for that was Justin Timberlake's performance to start the show. Justin Timberlake comes out, he's got the song, it's upbeat, he's got people dancing, moving, everything's alive and happening, and regardless of what you think of the song or Justin Timberlake, it didn't matter, right? But it got people going, excited, enthusiastic about the Oscars. They're dancing and all these other things at the show, the people watching are like, all right, they're moving along, and that got the show kicked off the right way, so that the rest of the show, people were already engaged, they were excited, they were enthusiastic, carried them through, the rest show. I mean, yeah, figure the Oscars was still three and a half hours long. And most people complain about it. Like, oh, the Oscars is always like over three hours long. This year was three and a half and we didn't have the complaints that we normally get. So energy and enthusiasm at the beginning created that sort of engagement, excitement throughout the show. It's the same thing when you're doing presentations, right? If you're doing a sales presentation, first impressions, be energetic, enthusiastic, and that will keep them engaged and excited throughout the process. So they're constantly gonna be paying attention to you. So even if your presentation runs long, they're gonna see, I'm sorry, I think it was a little bit shorter, right? So make sure you have that, especially at the beginning. Enthusiasm, excitement, right at the beginning, get them going, okay? So that was the first thing that I learned from that. Number two was this. Just because someone is better at a lot of different things doesn't mean they're better as a whole, okay? Now, this is gonna sound like a knock on La La Land. It's not meant to be. It's a great movie, well-deserved everything it won. But let's go down to the best picture. So La La Land had 14 nominations and won six Oscars, okay? Fantastic. Moonlight had eight nominations and only won three Oscars. So you would think, well, La La Land's got much more Oscars, much more nominations, but Moonlight won the big one, best picture, best movie of the year, okay? So even though La La Land had a lot other higher moments, as a whole, Moonlight was overall a stronger movie, a better movie, according to the eyes of the voters. Same thing when it comes to sales. You might be going up against a person that's like, oh, well, they're really good at this and this and this and all these other little things, but you're really solid at the core with your sales skills, your negotiation skills, your presentations. They might have this technology and this flashy things and all these other different things that they do better than I do, but when it comes down to straight sales skills, presentation skills, I'm better, and as a whole, I'm a better salesperson than that one is. So don't get caught up in these people that have all these other great things that are listed on their resume or on their quality list. That doesn't matter. What are you as a whole could be better than what they're offering. So that was number two. Okay. The third one was this. We always run into this and I thought this was a great example of it. Your age and your background do not determine your success. Okay. 
We have this all the time with people in sales. People I coach say, well, I don't get sales because I'm too old, or I'm too young, or I was born here, or this is my background. Always excuses. Look at the main winners, okay, for the most popular categories from the Oscars on Sunday, okay? Moonlight won Best Picture. Its director and writer, Barry Jenkins, is 37 years old, born in Florida. Damien Chazelle, who won Best Director for La La Land, 32 years old, born in Rhode Island. The youngest Best Director winner ever, okay? Best Actress, Emma Stone, La La Land. She's 28 years old, born in Arizona. Casey Affleck won Best Actor for Manchester by the Sea, 41 years old, born in Massachusetts. Viola Davis won Best Supporting Actress for Fences. She's 51, born in South Carolina. Ma Mahershala Ali won Best Supporting Actor for Moonlight. He's 43, he's from California. So look at these six names. 37, 32, 28, 41, 51, 43. Wide variety of ages. States that they were born in, Florida, Rhode Island, Arizona, Massachusetts, South Carolina, Carolina, all born from different places. Different ages, born in different places, and yet they all won the biggest categories. So there wasn't no set particular parameter saying you're too young to win this award, you're too old to win this award, you were born here, your background is this. These people came from all over the place and they still won. Look at the four acting categories. Best actor, best actress, best supporting actor, best supporting actress. The age ranges for the people in those categories was from 20 years old to 67 years old, okay? We use our background and our age as an excuse for not getting business. It doesn't matter. Now, I understand the Oscars are different than whatever sales we're doing, real estate and things like that. But stop using that as an excuse. There's no age limit, okay? There's no background criteria or anything along those lines in order to be able to get the sale, to be able to beat out other people in your market. It's all about your work ethic, your dedication to your craft, your dedication to your skills to set yourself apart. These people did it. There was a 20-year-old going up against a 67-year-old in an acting category. Do you think the 20-year-old was like, oh, I shouldn't be here? No, he earned the right to be there. You think the 67-year-old's like, I'm too old to be here? No, he earned the right to be there. So don't use your background or your age as an excuse. We learned that with the Oscars on Sunday. So those are three things that I learned from the Academy Awards, the Oscars on Sunday, that salespeople should be implementing in their business to carry them forward and have a bigger 2017. That's your three things Thursday. I hope you have a great week. Let me know what you learned from the Oscars or what you thought that you could implement in your business. I'd love to get some feedback. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.